Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on index notation. With index notation we have a base and an index. The index can also be called the power or exponent as seen by the following example. So here we have 2 to the power of 3. 2 is called the base and 3 can be called the power or the index or the exponent. Now let's do some questions to see how we deal with this type of situation. Question 1. What does 2 to the power of 3 mean? We can also say 2 cubed. So 2 to the power of 3 or 2 cubed means 2 times 2 times 2. That's telling us that the base of 2 is multiplied by itself three times. So what is the value of 2 cubed? Well as we saw 2 cubed equals 2 times 2 times 2. 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8. So the value of 2 cubed is 8. Write 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 using index notation and find its value. So here we have these threes, they're multiplied together. So 3 is the base and 4 is the index or the power or the exponent. So 3 to the power of 4 is 81. 3 threes are 9, 9 threes are 27, 27 times 3 is 81. So write this as index notation, that is using index notation, and find its value. So we have these twos here. Now how many are there? There are six of them. Six of them multiplied together, so that's 2 to the power of 6. So if you multiply that together systematically, you'll get 64. So 2 the, to the power of 6 equals 64. Question 2. Simplify 2 squared times 2 cubed. So 2 squared times 2 cubed. Now 2 squared is 2 times 2. That gives us 4. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2. That gives us 8. 4 eighths are 32. Simplify 2 cubed by 3 squared. So we've got 2 cubed by 3 squared. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2. That gives us 8. 3 squared is 9. 8 nines are 72. Simplify 5 squared by 3 squared. Now here we have 5 squared by 3 squared. Now 5 squared is 25 because 5 fives are 25. 3 squared is 9. 25 times 9 is 225. Simplify this numerical expression here. 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. 4 nines are 36. So 36 by 16 is 576. Simplify 10 squared by 10 cubed by 10 to the 4th. So here we have 10 squared, 10 cubed and 10 to the 4th. 10 squared is 100. 10 cubed is 1,000, and 10 to the power of 4 is 10,000. So we're multiplying those three numbers together. So I think the trick you would have learned is 1 by 1 by 1, that gives you 1. And then just count the number of zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have a 1 with 9 zeros. So that's the answer. So this video has introduced us to the idea of index notation and we've seen how to do a number of examples.